Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Had the first new meeting of the DC Bloggers Meetup group today. Uh, it's been years since uh, the group's been active in any way, shape, or form, and a lot of that's kind of my fault, because technically I'm the one in charge of the group, and have been for three or so years now. Uh, basically all that's meant is that I've paid the bill to meet up to keep it alive. But we had some uh, members online uh, needle me enough to uh, get me moving. Uh, they had enough uh, excitement about blogging and about the, the group and everything to help organize stuff. And a handful of us met at uh, Bus Boys and Poets down in Tacoma Park. Uh, which was really nice uh, to get together with some people uh, that I don't already know and uh, who are very excited, as excited as I used to be uh, about blogging and everything like that. My excitement has waned more than a little over the years. I've been online since uh, 1993. I've had a website since about 1994. And uh, I've seen a few different waves of blogging come and go. Uh, and I've managed to completely miss the boat on all of them. Uh, and, and that's still true today with this vlog. Because, well, I'm not marketing this at all. Uh, if I was, it would be a whole lot more focused. And it most certainly wouldn't be going daily. Because uh, then uh, I'd want time to polish it, to craft something different and unique and... Uh, yet all the stuff that would lead to me probably never actually publishing one of these videos. Uh, which is the whole point of this 100-day challenge that I'm doing, is to just do it. Just get stuff out there, just create stuff, just not get caught up in the business side of it, in the uh, purpose side of it, in the perfection side of it. And so far... I've been pretty successful in getting these out every day. In fact, I've been perfectly successful in getting these out one every day. Uh, but there's not a lot of traffic coming to them. And that's no surprise since I'm not marketing them at all. I'm posting links on Facebook and on my blog and one gets shot out to Twitter when I post. That's it. I'm not sharing this in other places. I'm not going out of my way to mention people or piggyback on hot issues or I, uh, you know, even reposting it uh, to my other websites that connect in, like Tube Talk or Searcher Journal uh, or Hat from Hell. Uh, I'm just not doing that because that's not the point of this. That that would be taking more time from creating these, taking more time from everything else I enjoy doing, and it's just not something that this part of the project is about. Now, after this 100 days is over, maybe that's another story. I don't know. But any sharing of this that's going on, any reach of this that actually comes, is coming from... You handful of people who are watching this, uh, sharing it, or it randomly showing up in searches uh, or recommended videos on YouTube. Now, my blog is getting a little bit of traffic. I can tell be because I've gotten a uh, spurt of spam messages all of a sudden uh, on the last few posts with these videos in it. So it's being picked up on search engines somewhere, and it's being crawled by spam bots. Uh, who are attempting to uh, get their hooks into my comments section. They're failing miserably because I can recognize a spam comment a mile and a half away. Because I've been online since 1993, and I've seen probably millions of spam comments at this point. So, if you do enjoy this and you do share it, well then you're making this more successful, because all I'm doing is producing this and throwing it at the wall. It's you who watch this who make it stick. Um, I'm, I'm not even publicizing this more than in random conversation and outside of Facebook. Uh, but I do want to share the, uh, the three steps if you do want 
to get stuff popular. If you do want to turn what uh, you create into a business, into something that will sustain you financially. Uh, and the first step is probably the hardest. The first step is to create awesome stuff. Now that could be art, that could be a blog post, that could be uh, an actual product. Create it, make it awesome. And awesome means focused, fun, useful, interesting, all sorts of those uh, general things that when we see those things, in, when we see products like that in the real world, we go, oh wow, I need to have that. And I need to tell all of my friends about that. So the first step is making awesome stuff. Because without awesome stuff, nothing else matters. You can bring in tons and tons of traffic, but if what they see isn't awesome, they're going to go away and never come back. They're not gonna talk positively about your stuff. So that spurt of traffic is going to dwindle and die. The second step is to talk about the awesome stuff you have created. Mention it to people in passing. Send out press releases. Run advertisements, even in traditional media, newspapers, radio, television, if you can afford it. But there's a huge bunch of people out there, the majority of people, who still interact with this classic media on a regular basis, and it still carries a whole lot of weight. So if the awesome stuff you're creating is conducive to showing up in those other mediums, make sure it does. Write op-eds, write in letters to the editor, get yourself featured on you know, a morning news program or anything like that. Talk about the awesome stuff that you are creating. And the third step, the third step is uh, a logical and normal outgrowth of the other two. Keep other people talking about your awesome stuff. Even if they're being critical, let them talk about it. Don't try to shut them down. If you can, engage in the conversation in a positive way. Don't get into shouting matches. Ignore trolls completely because there's nothing good that comes out of that. But if someone has a question about what you've created, answer that question. If someone has a concern, address that concern and do it in an open and willing way. Don't get steamrolled. Don't try to shut up critics. If someone's being critical, they're paying attention to what you're doing and they care enough to say something about it. If there's no coming to an agreement with them, well then let them go on their way. If it becomes clear you're not gonna change their mind, stop trying. Let them go. Move on to someone with a more positive view of what you're doing. Encourage them to talk more. So those are the three main things that any search engine optimization, any internet marketing, any real world marketing, anything comes down to. Create awesome stuff, talk about it, let other people continue to talk about it. And that's what you do if you want something to be successful. Now, again, these vlogs, I'm not particularly marketing in any way, shape, or form. They're unfocused. There's no uh, real consistency other than putting out something daily. There's no plan. So I'm not going to put effort into marketing this. But if you like them, well, comment, tell me what you like, and then we'll see what we can grow this into. If you like them, share it with other people who may like it. And then we'll get them involved in the conversation too, and we'll see what will grow of this. So if you're subscribed, great. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified when these show up. Uh, like I said, if you do like this stuff, give me a thumbs up so I know. Uh, and if there are other people who you think would be interested, share this with them. I'm Kier. That's it for today. I guess I'll see you tomorrow.